Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, Merry Trailer Park Christmas. You all are following along on a calendar that you've downloaded on my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com and following along because I've been releasing a recipe or a craft every day since December 1st and I see here today that it says iced tea fudge. Yes, that's right. I have an iced tea addiction. I don't know about you all, but I love iced tea and um, you can get it anyway. Like They even make it freeze dried and it's just everywhere and today we're going to be making iced tea into a candy. Yes, that's right. We're going to be making a festive fudge out of iced tea flavors. I'm going to show you how to make it up next. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my iced tea fudge is actually kind of simple. It's candy making. You might need a candy thermometer, but you'll get through it. And I've got a saucepan up here up on my stove top, and I'm doing this close up so y'all can see the steps. What we're going to do is turn this on medium-high heat. We're going to add two cups of granulated sugar to the yes, right into the bowl, just like that. I have two tablespoons of the instant tea mix right here. That goes right on into the bowl, just like that. I have one teaspoon of grated lemon rind, and that's going to go right on in there, too, just like that. We'll add a little bit more, a little bit later. I have one cup of milk, and this is just regular milk, and I don't know what is burning on my burner, but that'll burn off in a minute. Um, and then I have three tablespoons of butter. That goes right on in there, just like that. And two teaspoons of corn syrup right on into the bowl. And maybe, maybe the package part of the butter is not a good idea in there, so let me take that out. Always look for food safety, y'all. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up to a boil, and we're gonna use our candy thermometer in just a minute. So let me mix this up and bring it up to a boil. Okay, now that you brought it up to a boil, you're gonna use a candy thermometer, and you're gonna bring it up to 240 degrees, which is kind of a softball stage. That has nothing to do with sports, it's a candy making kind of thing. So use your thermometer, kind of keep the heat down a little bit so it doesn't boil over and also keep stirring it a little bit too. So get that started. Okay, our candy mixture has gotten up to 240 degrees and what we're going to do now, since pecans are just so southern, we're going to add about a cup of those to it just like that. Now what we're going to do now is let this cool down to about 150 degrees. And you can use your candy thermometer to make that happen too. So let this cool down a little bit so that it's still warm. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that you got it down to about 150 and it's still warm, you're going to whip it up a little bit to get some air into it. So let me do that and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, I've got an 8x8 pan here, and I've buttered it down. Now I'm going to take this mixture and spread it out evenly down at the bottom. And you got to work quickly because it'll start to set. So let me do that and check back with you in just a moment. There we go. I sprayed it out in the pan. Now we're just going to set it on the countertop, and it's going to set up, and you're going to cut it into squares. So let me make that happen, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. And 
there you have it, my iced tea fudge. And we also put some lemon in there, so it's lemon iced tea fudge. Isn't it great that you can make fudge in other flavors other than chocolate or vanilla? And this would make a great gift if you wrap this up with some pretty cellophane for the holidays and a nice pretty basket. But today we put pecans in this and we use the iced tea powder and it's going to have the taste of the iced tea in it. And I just can't wait to try this piece. Mmm! That tastes refreshing. That definitely gets my fix of iced tea and maybe it has some caffeine in it. I don't know, but mmm, definitely a different fudge. Mmm, wow, that is so good. I hope you get a chance to make my iced tea fudge. And if you do, send me pictures at jolenechuggerbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And, of course, add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm there, too. And, of course, add me on Google+. I'm all over the place. Just find me. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment so I know you stopped by. Get your calendar. There's only a few more days before the holiday, but I'm still releasing a video every day until the 25th. I love spending the holidays with you. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride Bye. in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.